My name is Christian Opaso, and I am an instructional designer at Vassar College. The issue I aim to address is information visualization, a field that is now highly relevant not only to the natural sciences, but also to the social sciences, humanities, and arts. Information visualization, or InfoVis, refers to the process of transforming information, that is, collections of data, such as numbers, words, images, or even more complex elements, into a visual form, enabling the user to observe, synthesize, and understand the information in a variety of ways. Though the term InfoVis can be used broadly, it is well defined in areas such as engineering, medicine, and finance, but not in the liberal arts. And why is it that we in the liberal arts should care about this issue? Because being adept at understanding and visualizing data sets is just one of the many skills that fall into the categories of information literacy and quantitative reasoning, both issues of great importance in liberal education today. Let's consider the following scenario. Using the Ngram Viewer tool from Google, one can visualize the frequency of appearance of a term or series of terms within a large set of books digitized by our friends at Google. Let's see, for example, what happens when we look for the terms black and white. Looking at the behavior of the data, one can make a series of interesting, non-trivial observations that can then be analyzed by historians, sociologists, statisticians, etc. The solution I propose would be a nightly sponsored web portal built by a team of content experts, information specialists, and instructional designers that will enable users to contribute, curate, and evaluate content provided by the various groups and individuals already working with InfoVis in the liberal arts and beyond.